Liverpool have signed Jadon Shaqiri. It's happened. It's been linked for well, a month or two now. It uh, got hotter and hotter. Obviously, he went away for the World Cup, and now he's back, and he's a Liverpool player. Uh, Glenn, how excited should Liverpool fans be about the sign, and how, how do you think he'll do? And you know, what do you think about how Liverpool have pursued him as one of their main targets? Yeah, I think it's quite a bit of shrewd business. I don't think you can pass up on a player who... Has played for big clubs before, so it might, Liverpool won't overawe him. He's got Champions League experience. He can do it on the big stage. He played well at this summer's World Cup, and for that, for 13 million, you can't really pass up on it. And I'm sure that's what Liverpool's recruitment department have seen there. That it's it's too good of a deal to, to just pass up on. He's been a player that's been on the radar since 2014. We've seen in the past that Liverpool's recruitment department, who were obviously have been there for a long time, so ever since 2014, they like to go back in for targets they've already. You know, pursued in the past, so they'll have done a lot of groundwork on Shakiri. Um, know what he can bring to this side, and plus, it, it's needed, isn't it? Liverpool needed someone in the final third. Maybe they need another one, but yeah, uh, too good of a, an opportunity to pass up. And um, he's just desperate to move. He was desperate to move to Liverpool, so it just makes it, you know, feel like sort of a no-brainer. Yeah, that's a real, million. that's a real positive. That one, isn't it? I've I've read a lot, which says that as soon as Liverpool came involved, he was always like, don't want to speak to anyone else. Lots of other clubs have yeah. obviously been interested because of this this release clause that makes him appealing. But I, I, from everything I've heard, I don't know if you're the same, that he's just said, no, it, once Liverpool came in, that was the one he wanted. Yeah, definitely. And that was the case in 2014 when Liverpool made a move for him. Um, he was dead set on a move then, but Bayern Munich blocked any potential transfer. So I'm sure it's just it, it'd probably been a bit, bit of regret if he didn't end up at Liverpool one day in his career. So... Now he's here, and um, I know there's a lot. There's a lot been said about how he performed at Stoke and his effort levels. But I mean, coming to Liverpool is a different story. And you know, um, there was the same accusations thrown at Sadio Mane at the time he joined Liverpool that he was inconsistent at, uh, at Southampton and all that. But you've seen how he's done at Liverpool, and he achieved a dream in coming to Liverpool. So. You know, maybe it could be the same with Shakiri. Let's all hope so. Uh, if you're desperate to know more about Shakiri, we're the place for you on the, on our tour play, our subscription service. We've got some great specials at the moment. One of them is speaking to the people who've watched him most closely, if you like, over the last few years. So we've got a guy for uh, called Pete Smith from the Stoke Sentinel. That's easy for me to say. It's the newspaper in Stoke who's been covering Shakiri obviously for the last few years, talking about what kind of player he thinks he is. We've also got a scout working in Switzerland who also compiles the stats for Football Manager. In Switzerland, that's a good job, isn't that's it? That's a good job, yeah. <laughs> So he tells us a little bit more about Shakiri and, and what he was like as an emerging player, and he's got some really good stories about, about Shakiri uh, and how he's developed over 10 years, both as a player and as a person. And we've also got Stefan Honcho, who obviously played for Liverpool and Switzerland, on his opi- opinions of, of Shakiri. They're all really interested in talking as much about Shakiri the person he is the player. So fantastic interview. So that's on tour play right now. We've also got our reaction shows in terms of the guys from the Anfield Rap, what we think and this is the place to come for all the transfer reaction news across the summer we'll be first with it hopefully and speaking to the people who know them best so a great time to subscribe to the Anfield Wrap but in the meantime uh, cheers to Glenn and yeah get on everything that we're doing at the Wrap